All right, so I was telling you that my favorite testi testimony is from Norma Stewart. I remember when she first started, she would not show her face, and then she showed the top of her head, and then she showed half of her face, and then she started showing her full face, and now she even parts her hair so we could see her style. And she is literally responsible for the growth of our group. We have over 4,000 people, and her testimony turned everybody around. We started out with 10 people on our Zoom call. We ended up having over 100 people on our Zoom call. We had to increase the volume because when people heard her story, they said, I got to get that product. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Norma to tell her story because it is absolutely powerful and 360 degree circle. All right, go ahead, Jude. Go ahead, um, Norma. You're, you're muted. You're muted. Hello, everyone. It's a Hello. pleasure to be here. <laughs> it's been a while, but there's so much going on as far as uh, Maureen has said. I have been connected with so many people based on my testimony. And to God be the glory, because only God can do the things that were done for me. And it is possible for all of you to experience the joy of having a pain-free body based on that product I Hercules. Now, without, uh, without that spray, I wouldn't be here with you guys. So I am going to start by telling you that in 2006, I had one of the most devastating accidents anyone could have. And it left me almost crippled. I had to have surgery on my neck in order to hold my head up. I struggled with that for five years, not being able to sleep because you can't lay down if you can't hold your head up. So I had to sit up in my couch and prop my head on the back of my sofa. And my tush actually imprinted on the couch. <laughs> and I had to get rid of it because it annoyed me so much. But anyway, I wasn't able to do much of anything based on my neck. So I stayed home, slept, stayed home, slept. That's all I did. So because of the inactivity, a lot of things had happened to my body. My body started to break down. I had 11 surgeries from that one car accident. But not only did that happen, I developed other issues. Thyroid problem, I had clotting in my blood, and I had what you call calcification in my brain, in, in my head, on the right side of my head. The doctors had not told me that I could develop calcification. But after my head started to have what you feel like when you eat ice cream really fast, that's when that they explained that calcification was happening to me. Now, that was scary enough. But the most scary part was having an aneurysm in my neck waiting and wondering which one of them would take me out, whether it be the aneurysm or this thing that I felt was eventually going to grow to where my brain is. Anyway, got to the point after all these years that I couldn't go up my stairs, so I stopped going up my stairs. I used to crawl up my stairs like a baby. And finally, I said, you know, it's killing me going up and down these stairs. I'll just sleep downstairs. So I started calling the sofa my bed. My sofa was my bed. I slept in my sofa for almost three years, not being able to go up the stairs. And in that time, I developed inflammation in my body. I didn't know that's what it was. I knew something was wrong that was severe because I was in pain for a whole month and couldn't walk. I have casters on my dining room table, so I would pull myself up, self up on the furniture, got my tushy on that cast or chair, and push myself to the bathroom. That's how I got to and from the bathroom. I figured out how to do things in my house in pain. If I wanted water, push myself. I used to use my arm to propel myself because I have hallway passageways. And I pushed myself across the, with, I have strong upper body, so I pushed myself across the floor with the casters on a chair. Because my feet would literally cause me pain all the way up my hip and into my back. So I couldn't use my feet very well. So I would push myself across the room. And that's how I got about. I got so bad now that I could not get off that sofa. I couldn't move my body left or right, not even an inch. When I tell you that my body had gotten to that point, I literally laid in my bed, in that bed, which is my sofa and cried all night. I screamed, nobody could hear me. And my husband came down in the morning and saw the condition I was in and called the ambulance. Now that was scary for me because I have OCD. And OCD, I went into the ambulance like this, trying to get my arms not to touch anything. Mentally, that was exhausting, trying to just get from the, on the, my door to the hospital in an ambulance. So if you understand what OCD is, I'm a germaphobe. I hate germs. 
So I disinfect everything around me. Mentally, I don't like people to touch my things. So they come through my door, they have to wash their hands, take their shoes off. So people would discuss, my whole family would discuss me at every party because they wouldn't come to my house. Nobody wants to wash their hands, take their shoes off. So that's how I live. So I'm isolated from people because of how I live. And so my body broke down and I'm living like this. And uh, Sister Dana, I hope she's listening. I went to the hospital and they pumped my body full of steroids and this precious, precious woman, Sister Dana, sent me two bottles of I Hercules. And I argued with her about sending them to me because I had that cabinet full of herbs, different types of herbs, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars worth of herbs in my cabinet. And I tell you that she sent the sprays to me and I argued because I'm like, what's this going to do that that didn't do? And she sent them anyway. And because I loved her, I took them. I didn't take them because I wanted to. I took them because I loved her. So I took them. <laughs> and after three days on this product, I could walk. Not three and a half days. Not three days and a, a three quarter. Three days. Literally three days I could walk. And I had full control over my body. I called her up and I'm like, what the heck is in this bottle? And she says, keep taking it. It's going to clean your blood. And if, if, if anybody knows, the back of my hands aren't dark anymore. My complexion has changed because the clotting in my blood had made me so dark that my hands were dark, dark, dark. And when I noticed that my hands, this part of my hand had gotten pink, and I'm like, how is this possible? That that little thing could do so much that nobody else could do by cleaning my blood. And I noticed that it was cleaning my blood because my hand had started to get pink. So I called her up and I'm like, okay, okay, my hands are turning pink. And she said, keep taking it. You know, because once you feel better after taking something, you tend to stop taking it because you figure your body is okay. But she says, keep taking it. It's cleaning your blood. I remember feeling tinglings in my feet, my feet, little pain in my toes. And I called her up and I'm like, why am I in pain? I never had problems with my feet. That's not true, but I didn't click. It didn't click. Because I had numbness in my feet from three surgeries, Achilles tendon surgery, and I had two other surgeries on my toes. And I had problems, but I didn't click that, okay, this was cleaning out and causing the numbness that I've suffered from my feet to go away. Lo and behold, three days later, the pain went away. And I could feel my toes nice and clean. Went on. I'm sitting in my house one day, and I realized something had changed. I had not noticed that the eyes, circle around my eyes were disappearing. I had these really dark, crusty circles around my eyes, and they had started to disappear. I walked to the bathroom, and I passed the mirror, and I saw, I'm like, okay, did that change? So I took a picture of it because my eyes were not that raccoony looking eyes that they were before. So I took a picture. Then I noticed that there were other things that were changing. But I could not place the idea that this little product could change my body so much in such a short time. I had pimply spots all over my forehead and they were disappearing. So there were things that were changing my body and I couldn't believe that something could work that fast. Anyway, I went to the doctor for my annual checkup. And when I got home, two weeks later, she called me up to tell me, hmm, you don't have a thyroid issue anymore. You don't have blood clot anymore. You don't have asthma anymore. And then she stopped. Rather than telling me what wasn't wrong with me, she said to me, your blood is clean. But I think you should come back and get another blood test. I'm like, no, 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 no. I hung up on her and called Sister Dana. I'm like, Sister Dana, this product is the most amazing thing. God, what is this product? That it could take my blood from where it was after 16 years. It took my blood out of that condition to what it is now. It was unfathomable. It was happening to me and I couldn't believe it. I'm, uh, one day um, I got up off my, what I call bed, my sofa and walked to the bathroom. And when I was halfway to the bathroom, I realized I was not having back pain. I didn't push on anything to get up. Normally I'd have to push on the furniture to stand up. And in order to get up, I would have to sit, thaw my back out and then get up. But no, that didn't happen that day. I was halfway to the bathroom and I realized, okay, I did not hold on. So I went back and forth testing to see if I was really dreaming or did this really happen? I was not in pain. My back, my slip disc in my back were not hurting me. I did not realize that this thing could even take that away. Slip disc in my back would take that pain out that I've lived with for 16 years. But it worked. And I called my children and I made them watch me do it. I think they thought I was nuts. 
because you know who wants to watch me get up and sit but we were also excited because my body had been in such a bad condition that for them it was exciting too but that wasn't even exciting what was exciting was my brother was in a coma from a ruptured aneurysm that ruptured and put him in a coma and the day they called me to tell me that he was out i ran through my house trying to get everybody to see him that he's awake and talking to me and i did not realize i could run i ran through my house and i wasn't winded and i'm like when i got downstairs and sat down i'm like wait a minute did i just run through my house i didn't even know i could go up the stairs that well let alone run through the house i have three flights of stairs in my house so it's a fairly decent sized house and i ran around the entire house Four thousand, almost five thousand square foot of house. I ran through the house and did not get winded, and I could not fathom that anything could bring my body from what it was to where it was. A couple of months later, it went on. I noticed my daughter came down one day to do my feet because I have dry feet and dry skin, and I buy lotion, one hundred and fifty dollars a lotion each time I buy lotion, and my skin would drink lotion. And she came down to do my dry feet, and she looked down and she goes, "Mom." Do you notice that your fungus has gone out of your toe? And I'm like, what? So I looked down at my feet and realized it really had gone out of my toe. I had a fungus toe from when I was maybe 18, between the 16 and 18. I had fungus in my toe. And most of my family have a single fungus toe. My sister had 10 of them. She took out her 10 toenails. I have one aunt that took out her toenail, but I didn't take out mine. And lo and behold, my toe had cleared up. I had taken medication for that toe. The medication was so potent that the doctor had to monitor my liver every two weeks to make sure it wasn't damaging my liver. And I hated that toe so much that I risked my liver in order to fix my toe. That's how important that toe was to me. But this thing came and took that fungus out of my toe. And I cannot imagine any one product that could literally clean everything out of my system and bring me to the place where I am today. I no longer have aneurysm. I no longer have a thyroid issue. I have shed 44 pounds in the last two and a half months. This thing regulated my thyroid, regulated the way I eat, regulated my blood, regulated my body in a way that I cannot explain it to you. Three months ago, most powerful part of my testimony, I believe, is when the Holy Spirit came to me three months ago. I was sitting watching TV. I'd watched TV since I was trapped in that couch for how many years? I'd watch TV for 22 hours out of a 24 hour day. And you wonder how anybody could do that. Well, I had nothing to do. I was bored and depressed. I watched TV. I would watch one show after the other and I would not wait for the series to end before I start the other one because I was afraid that, okay, I wouldn't have anything to do. So I would not give my brain rest. So I would watch one series after the other, 16 episodes, 20 episodes, whatever they are. I'd sit and watch them. I'd binge watch. I slept 10 minute naps. I'll take 10 minute naps and wake up and watch the next one. I'm like, okay, I can't wait for that one to, I would take a nap literally. I was sleeping maybe less than two hours a night. And that's what, how I live. And when the Holy Spirit came to me, because I always ask God, why am I so far from him? I knew God was here. I knew he was written, but I had wandered far away to the point where I am arguing and confused and talking to God and understand, trying to understand why am I drifted so far left field? from where I ought to be. And the Holy Spirit came one day and visited me and says to me, go to prayer meeting. And I argued with the Holy Spirit. I'm like, I've never been to prayer meeting. Why would I go to prayer meeting? My brother was in a coma and all the churches around me were praying for him. And I'd never gone to one prayer meeting. So when the Holy Spirit visited me, I had a conversation with him. I ended up in prayer meeting that night because of guilt that I felt put me in prayer meeting. And I went to prayer meeting. And while I was in prayer meeting, the Holy Spirit came back to me, told me I had to pray. And I argued again, because I'm not a public speaker. I'm not a person who felt I was good enough to pray in public. I didn't felt that, oh, you know, you're not good enough kind of syndrome where I felt like, People are so eloquent. I don't have a degree. And they talk about degrees every time they speak. And for me, I felt out of place in most areas, most places. And the Holy Spirit impressed me to, to pray. And I fought it. But the, in the end, I ended up praying that prayer. And when I got off that prayer line that night, the Holy Spirit came back to me. And he told me to go and fulfill my purpose. 
Now, why that's powerful to me, and I want you to understand, is that my prayer in life had always been, God, please do not take me from this life until you could take me to that life. And I always ask him, do not let me live a life that's not purposeful. I needed to understand what my purpose in this life was. And at this point in my time, in my life, I'm 59 years, I was 58 and a half at that point. I had no idea what my purpose was. Not because I wasn't kind of giving to everybody, but because I never thought that that was my purpose. I felt that being kind is a part of my nature. I was raised with two parents who gave away everything. And so being kind to everybody is just something we ought to do. So being kind is natural to me. But when the Holy Spirit came and told me to fulfill my purpose, I really truly understand it was as clear as looking at this monitor. Because I knew that I wanted everyone to experience what I had experienced. To come from a body that would not move, not even an inch. And to get to run through my house through my house without even realizing that my body could move that way. And only God could do that. I had no arthritis in my knee anymore. And on the night when the Holy Spirit visited this child, when God stepped into my life and told me to go and fulfill my purpose, my mind was as clear, crystal clear. And I always used to tell my children, I was a fairly intelligent child. But I grew up without having to process thought because I was a builder and I didn't process much because I cut, I knew measurements. I could walk into a room and it's not level and I will know what is off kilter. Those things came naturally to me. My father was a builder. So it was natural for me to walk into a room and knew what was wrong with it. But when the Holy Spirit came, all the things that I said that I couldn't do, I no longer say I couldn't do them. I got up. And I made the video that you saw. I was never computer savvy. Don't know anything about computers. Didn't care for it. As a matter of fact, my son forced me into use buying an iPhone so I could learn to text. I had to learn to text because I didn't like texting. I felt that people were so disconnected already. And texting <laughs> made them more disconnected. I was forced to learn to text because my son changed my phone. That's how little I knew about computers. And when the Holy Spirit stepped into my life, I sat down and made that video. And I don't know, still don't know, how that could be unless God is in it. If God did not visit this mind, <clears throat> I would be still saying I'm incapable. But with God, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes you might get overwhelmed by the idea that I speak of God so much. But God made our bodies. Our bodies. He put the blood in this body. And when he sent that product to clean out this body and my body became physically well and my mind became physically clear, how can I not, how can I deny who God is? That product came from God because only God could put knowledge into man to create such a beautiful gift. Mm -hmm. The best gift you could possibly put in your body at this point. And the product does not heal your body. It doesn't. What happens is when your blood that are filled with plaque and inflammation and toxins, when it goes in and it cleans it out, the body wakes up and greets you. So, whoa, this is what I've been waiting for. And then it responds because God intended for the body to heal itself. That's the way he made us. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. And God does not make errors. No. When he created us, he created us perfect. Perfect. And he wants us to be restored perfectly. And in that perfect restoration, the mind becomes clear and healthy, and you're better able to connect to the creator. And that is what God wants for us. And the only thing I can tell everybody is that I may speak of God, but when you experience truly what God has done inside that little bottle, you will speak of God because you will connect to that man who made you, that creator. And so I'm thankful for the opportunity to tell you, I mean, the story is very long. My entire family is on this product. My daughter recovered from eczema. She was born with it. She's 33, suffered with it for years, all her life. And now she doesn't have eczema anymore. My son-in-law had psoriasis, don't have it anymore. My son had anxiety, developed it seven years ago. Well, seven and a half years now. And he doesn't have anxiety anymore. 
I never knew that something could take anxiety out of your blood, but this corona works. My son no longer has an issue driving down the highway. The boy hadn't driven down the highway in over seven and a half years, and now he does. I have family members who are experiencing amazing things, but until they come and tell you, I cannot say that. Only that this product, my four-year-old grandchildren, I don't know if you saw them a little while ago, they always come to kiss me tonight. But the four-year-old sprays himself like it's no tomorrow. He'll just walk around, squirt, squirt, grandma, and he spray. He walks around in every room and spray. He could be walking by it nine times and spraying himself nine times, he's four. But even those children knows how important it is because it took them, their little bodies, from being allergic to not being allergic. And when they see every kid, they go, they need it. Do you, why don't you give it to the kids? And I said, unfortunately, their parents has to choose. And I'm thankful that my children, I have two children, they always follow what I say. And I'm thankful for the family that God blessed me with because they're very, very, very supportive of everything I do, always have been, to the point where this business has gotten so much for me to handle that my daughter gave up her business to help me. And if God is not doing that, I don't know who is. Mm -hmm. Because my child makes quite a good living. And for her to watch me go through this and know that I know that this is my purpose and be willing to sacrifice what she chose for her career to do this with me, only God. And that's what I Hercules is to me. This is the most perfect gift that God could give us right now based mm -hmm. on what's happening around us and we know what's happening to our bodies based on what they're pumping into us. If we understand that and know that these are only herbs, there's no man-made anything in it. And yet they're gonna pump things into your body and tell you every six months you're gonna have to have a new booster shot. Well, trust me, every booster shot, there will be another booster shot. So for the rest of your life, you'll be getting boosters. And if you're willing to take those poison that they're willing to put in your body, why not put something in your body that's gonna take care of you? So on that note, I just wanna say thank you God for everything and say a quick prayer and say, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I thank you for the gift that is I, Hercules. I thank you for the people that you put the knowledge into to produce this product. I thank you for Sister Dana who sent it to me and for the pastor who delivered it to me. And for all of those you are hearing within the sound of my voice, I give thanks and praise to the God who created you. And I hope now that he opens up all your minds to absorb what I've just said and for you to receive this wealth and spread it because everybody deserves to live in a healthy body. Thank you, O oh Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory. Glory. Awesome. God is so good. Amen. Indeed, indeed. Wonderful. I told you. I told you. She mm. is the best. Yes. Glory. Her glory. Glory is powerful. You okay, too? Don't wow. say she's the best. You are right too. You're amazing. Story. God is good. God is good to all of us. And Thank when you, you. Oh, it. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> God is able. Have we just got to keep God trusting. Is. Have yep. the faith. The faith. Yes. Yes. You have yeah. to have faith and step out every time. Yes. Out in faith, God delivers. But mm -hmm. you must be willing. And I'm asking all of you be willing to try, even one. Try. Open up your mind to the possibility. I wasn't open at first, but I always trusted Sister Dana because she never sends me anything that's bad. And because I loved her, I took it. Even the God be the glory. Don't believe me. Love yourself to try something that's all natural and put it in your body. That's all you have to do. Take one step and you'll be one step closer to help. And believe me, you'll be thankful you tried it. And the good thing is that the body does not lie. Lie. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and don't go and to also it. and also the blood, when you do your blood test, the blood cannot lie either. So we got a winner. We got a winner. We have to be thankful and yes. praise yes. God every day. Praise God. Continue every to praise day. his holy name. We gotta keep <laughs> trusting day by day. Amen. Oh, one day at a time. One day at a time. God is able. All good things come from God. All good things. Amen. Amen.